Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is your twin flame reading for those twins who are currently in separation. The first pile is going to be your pile, uh, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third and fourth piles will be the unified energy of how things are going to come together. Also, it's worth noting what a twin flame connection is, because if anyone is mentally, physically, or emotionally abusive, that is not a twin flame connection. That's more likely to be a false flame connection, and it will waste your wonderful time and drain you of your beautiful love, okay? So I do want you to be aware of that. Now, uh, twin flames, they are magnetic. It's an activated relationship, and what that means is it's more about accepting your spiritual awakening than it is to do with your twin at first, because twin... Flames, they tend to have a mission in each lifetime. They have a calling of things that they need to do, a uh, true north that they need to follow. So um, it is a sacred union, and as a result of shared difficulty and pain often, uh, you tend to have had very similar journeys in each lifetime. Uh, up until you meet each other, you may see a lot of similarities as to um, you know the experiences that you've had, uh, but they actually reflect uh, back to you your greatest strengths, but also your greatest fears and weaknesses. So anything you've experienced before you met your twin uh, that has been uh, traumatic or disappointing or painful, uh, then your twin flame will amplify those feelings so that you cannot ignore them and you must sort through it and process it in order to heal from it and move on from it. Um, it is a very difficult relationship to navigate. There tends to be a runner, a chaser, and a separation period. And there is purpose in pause. There needs to be that separation period so both both parties can uh, really focus on their spiritual development rather than on each other and uh, basically connect to their true calling and uh, their life's purpose, but also uh, to really invest all that care, love, and devotion inwards on themselves and heal from past experiences. So, um, when you meet your twin, it's basically a mirrored relationship. So uh, basically the chaser tends to be a little bit more spiritually evolved or aware when they meet their twin and they're willing to dive deep and uh, basically give themselves over, surrender to uh, the intimacy, the level of intimacy that a twin flame connection requires. And the chaser, uh, basically they have unconditional love. They know that they love this person. They are drawn to them. It's like a magnet. Uh, you know, it's a moth to a flame energy. And sometimes they don't even know why. They're just like all consumed by this person's energy uh, because you actually meet your person in the same frequency. It's almost like meeting a part of yourself. It's really otherworldly. And uh, the twin flame who is the runner, they tend to look in that mirror and they see all the things within themselves that they've been avoiding before they even met their twin and they know that they need to step up and resolve them and they actually get overwhelmed. So they take a step back because first of all, they don't understand it and they actually keep their twin at arm's length at first. There is distance and then uh, they start to really um, avoid their feelings because they know being in a twin flame connection, it is exposing and it means exposing a part of themselves that they've kept off limits from other people for the whole of their life. So um, 
When I met my twin, for example, um, I was uh, going through a very difficult and damaging breakup. I was trying to heal, but actually I was numbing my pain. I'd been with a karmic and they had really destroyed my uh, confidence. I had self-loathing. I had trust issues. I basically was not capable of even loving myself when I met my twin because of a previous experience. So uh, I actually thought I was healing, but actually I was going out partying with friends and avoiding doing the real spiritual work. I was numbing that pain, but I was actually not as mature spiritually as I am now. And I didn't actually realize that I was running away from very deep rooted feelings that had played out in a cycle of repeat throughout my whole life. And uh, the karmic um, relationship was there to really like push a button and say, this is what you need to heal. This is how you need to step up. But actually I ignored it. I numbed that pain. And then the universe, you know, ushered in my twin and it amplified those feelings of um, insecurity, trust issues, because the love was unconditional. And I felt, well, how can I trust this person after a previous experience? I'm going to keep that person at arm's length because you know what? I don't want to be destroyed again. And because the level of intimacy and knowingness about this twin flame connection, it scared me. I just thought that um, it'll actually destroy me completely. So I kept my twin at arm's length. I didn't mean to. It was not a conscious thought to do that. In fact, I wanted to tell my twin that I love them, that I wanted to be with them. I wanted to shout it from the mountaintops. Uh, I actually told a lot of friends at the time that I'd met someone that I thought, I just know I'm going to be with this person. I just know that it is a significant relationship. And they were like, you're crazy. You need to heal from um, you know, uh, the past experience. Um, maybe you're not so ready to get into a relationship. And uh, they were right because I wasn't. I couldn't love myself, as I said, and I needed to erect healthier boundaries in relationships as well. And, you know, uh, my twin kept coming, but I kept, you know, pushing them away. And uh, eventually they did what the twin flame dynamic does. They stepped back in order for me to really just heal. And then, um, I like to explain twin flames like magnets. Uh, if you think of two magnets identical in polarity, uh, so you attract each other, but also uh, you repel each other, there is a space in between. And that space is to allow both frequencies to change. So if the chaser keeps reaching out, you know, the runner is going to keep running. It'll perpetuate a cycle of repeat. But as soon as the chaser puts all their love, care, devotion uh, inwards to healing and focusing on their true calling, that's when you change the frequency here. And then this magnet, is drawn closer and is encouraged to actually do the spiritual work as well. It's not a game, it's an energetic exchange. And of course, uh, when I had uh, done the work and I started seeking my twin, they'd also taken a step back because uh, we both didn't understand it was twin flame dynamic, uh, but we were actually falling into the typical pattern. It's not always the case, but there is a common pattern there. So you uh, basically flip the script, you uh, reverse the polarities, and then both of you know what it feels like from the other point of view. And then you come together in a match. Okay. It's a very difficult relationship. Not everybody takes a twin flame journey because it is difficult. So I'm sending you a huge hug out there. But when you come together in union, of course, it is really rewarding. So um, let's see what's going on with your uh, twin flame connection right now. I mean, this is how you feel about your person. There is so much love here. You have such a beautiful heart, my beautiful Pisces. And, you know, we've got the judgment card here and the two of cups deep down you know that you met your twin and I feel right now you're at a bit of a fork in the road because you do have the judgment card. So you're judging their actions to some degree. You didn't want to. I feel like you're a very open-minded person, um, but you've given unconditionally to this person. You gave them access to a part of you that perhaps is actually off limits to other people as well. So um, I feel um, there's this energy here where your person, um, well, looking at their energy, there's a lot of fear. We will go into their side of the street in a moment. But I feel, you know, for some of you, you're wondering whether you should open yourself up to a new relationship, move on. And um, if you haven't already, I actually feel like there's someone new coming in. It's interesting, the water element signs, they have a lot of new arrivals coming into their life. So um, I definitely see new love coming in in the form of a soulmate. So if you are looking for a soulmate and you want to cut the cord, you can cut the cord with a twin flame connection. Um, 
It is difficult, of course, but there's lots online about it. And what I just told you about Twin Flames is really a bite size of uh, Twin Flame Dynamics. Um, but, you know, this card here, it really indicates that you're so ready for love. You've been doing a lot of healing. Uh, you're trying to follow your heart in life. You wanted to be with your twin. But with the Judgment card, you know, you've been spun off to focus on your life's purpose because the Judgment card is an awakening. So you're in the transition phase of a Twin Flame connection. I mean, uh, looking at your energy, there's part of you that hasn't really stepped back too far. Um, you know, some twin flames have really stepped back, but uh, your person, very wishy-washy, uh, very indecisive, and uh, I mean, deep down they do want commitment, but there's something here from childhood with this person that has um, made them really um, detach themselves from from basically uh, long-term commitments. This person has commitment issues. And of course, you don't need me to tell you that, but we'll go a little bit deeper to find out what's going on there. But um, I feel like the person that you're dealing with is actually a very ambitious, very serious person, but also I feel like they're very family-oriented. And there's something here about this person Family is everything to this person, and I do feel that this person has some level of responsibility in their family unit. Um, and uh, I mean, some of them may even be a carer, or they are trying to earn enough money to look after their family. So I do feel this level of being very serious about their responsibilities and making sure almost that they have no time for love, okay? Uh, that's not gonna resonate with everyone, but that's coming out there as well. Also, for some of you, and not all of you, I'm hearing it's about like 15%. Um, some of you, uh, your twin is in the services and there's distance because they're on duty. So I feel, you know, uh, that's also going to be a factor there. Um, and some of you, um, this person, it's almost like they're taking their job or their responsibilities super seriously at this time. And um, I feel like it's almost like they don't 100% want to get involved because, or they didn't when they met you because... Um, they felt it wasn't fair. Uh, it may have felt like it was for selfish reasons um, that they kept you at arm's length, but actually what I'm seeing here is they're putting the brakes on because they feel um, it's not fair to you, okay? So that's gonna resonate with someone out there, but not all of you, okay? The overarching energy I have for the majority of my beautiful Pisces out there is that this person, um, they've been trying to get a lot more balance in their life, but also I feel like um, there's something regarding the matriarchal type figure in their life, uh, their mother or their feminine guardian. Uh, they may actually care for this person or there's a lot of influence from this person and they always try to really please this person is what I'm being given. But every time this person your twin I'm talking about, uh, every time your twin tried to please this person, it was never good enough, okay? And this person always strives to make this person happy. So I feel um, there's a little bit of influence there. I don't feel it's the main influence, but we'll get into their energy in a moment. But you love, and some of you may even be questioning whether this person is your twin flame. Maybe you're even questioning if twin flames actually exist because you are such a loving person and you want commitment, you deserve love, and sometimes, you know, as humans, we accept less than we truly deserve, but you deserve the highest love that love has to offer, and I feel that um, with your heart so pure and open there, uh, there is love being attracted to it at this time, and I do see that, you know, you offer support, care, devotion, a foundation of understanding for this twin flame that you're dealing with here, but I feel like there's an energy here of you being a bit of an overgiver um, that it's almost like, and we need to just remember this a little bit, that when we meet a person and we just think they are the best thing since sliced bread, we really idolize a person at the beginning of a relationship. And then if it's a twin flame connection, it can be like tenfold. You know, the energy is like off the charts. It's very intense. It's, as I said, uh, magnetic and... Um, it's a very powerful energy. So sometimes when we feel that way about another person, we can put them on a bit of a pedestal and inadvertently we're actually putting ourselves below that person. So I feel like the dynamic was a little bit off kilter um, because of this level of, um, you know, 
idolizing this person. So that's coming out there. I feel like uh, you are learning about reciprocity. That's one of the lessons you're learning about. Um, but we do have the judgment card. This is a big deal card because this indicates that um, you know you were meant to meet this person and that uh, to some degree uh, they are your calling. But also I feel like right now you're searching for direction regarding this connection because you're feeling a little bit in limbo or a little bit lost. Uh, when you get this card, it's a card of feeling like you're at a fork in the road. You're having to make some adjustments. You're opening yourself up to a new life in some way. So you could actually be changing the way that you approach this connection. And it could be to take a totally different path. Ultimately, this card is really about listening to your calling. You know, your guides are calling you in a certain direction to do a certain thing. And um, I feel right now you're having a bit of a wake up call regarding this twin flame connection because you feel like it's been too painful. You can't do this anymore. Now, also when you get this card, it can indicate that uh, to a certain degree, you feel really rejected by this person. Uh, you doubt this connection is actually going to move forward because there's been so much stagnation. It's almost become like a big old blockage. And uh, you may have been asking for signs and symbols um, regarding this person to, to know or to see if this person is actually your twin or if you're meant to be with this person. And it's almost like you're getting lots of different signs everywhere that yes, this person is meant for you. Um, but you're also meant to really focus on your true life's mission and path. Remember, if we keep reaching out, the twin will keep at the same distance. It's not a game. The person will come towards you when you are fulfilling your own destiny and pouring all that love, care, and devotion inwards and meeting your own needs, okay? Now, also the judgment card, it can indicate to some degree you're judging the situation. Some of you may have felt that you wish you'd never met this person because the emotions are so overwhelming. Um, it's been a big old upheaval and uh, change, this connection. Um, I mean, this card, it can mean that you want to reunite with this person. You may be seeking answers. You know, you still love this person. The love doesn't go away. And don't get me wrong, this person also loves you. They feel committed to you because this reading is about how they feel about you. And they've got the ring as the outcome energy. So I do see that this person, they want to commit. They want to find a way of overcoming their commitment fears because they've literally got the ring, which is all about commitment. Then they've got the two of swords and the nine of swords. Very cerebral. There's got to be a reason why this person is so hesitant about getting involved in a high level commitment. It stems from childhood with this person, whatever that is. So I will try to get in there. Okay. Uh, but this card, I feel right now, there's an energy here of you not really wanting to reach out. Uh, even though you love this person, you feel stuck almost in limbo or in between worlds. You know, it's like, should you move on? Because I feel part of you is like, you can't wait anymore. You don't want to wait anymore. You shouldn't have to wait anymore. And I always say to everybody, do not wait for your twin. Do not wait for anybody. Your life is for living on your own terms. Of course, we can always, you know, have compromise and factor other people in on our time, but never work to someone else's timeline because... Your time frame of healing, connecting to your true mission and your, uh, you know, path basically is not going to be the same timeline as your person's and they need time to heal uh, whatever it is that they're uh, overcoming in terms of their fears right now it's going to take time. It's going to be a project. And, you know, um, remember the magnets, you're going to remain stagnant if you're waiting for your person. And I don't see that you have been waiting. I feel like, you know, you've been focusing on what's right for you. This is a card that indicates there is a very deep affinity between you and your person. Also, I feel like you're actually very mature, my beautiful Pisceans. Um, you know, you have a, a, an emotional intelligence about you where you recognize that this person is someone who has an impact on your life and has uh, triggered you off to focus on yourself, but also uh, there is part of this person that is very alike with you, okay? There's a lot of similarities there, uh, but I feel like you are not waiting for this person. I feel like you have in the past thought about it, but with the two of cups here, 
And we have the King and Queen of Wands. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you may have moved into a new relationship or you are judging whether you should actually take a new path and open yourself up to a soulmate. If you decide to go down the path of a soulmate and open yourself up to a new love, there is a new love coming in very, very shortly. Something that is, uh, you know, going to be very uh, fulfilling emotionally. It's going to be really rewarding, but at the same time, it's not your twin. So it will be different. Um, but it's still a beautiful encounter um, and it can be a long-term commitment, but you need to decide what it is you want because the judgment card is a card of options, looking at those options right now and making a final decision. This is the wake up call. This is you making some final decisions about whether you want to be with your person. I mean, deep down, you want to be with your person, but I feel their actions have not um, fulfilled you. And right now you're feeling really disappointed, even disenchanted with love to some degree. And um, I feel looking at your person's energy, I do see that they want to meet up with you. I mean, six of pentacles there indicates they're going to surprise you. This person is getting signs left, right, and center regarding the relationship with you. They're seeing lots of omens. They may even message you and say, you know what? I saw this the other day and I thought of you. Or, um, you know, I asked for a sign regarding life and love and a sign came from my guides and it was all about you. I would really make sure that you watch their actions over their words first, though, because I feel this person, they're still very um, indecisive. They're very inconsistent, let's put it that way. There's a stalemate energy about this person. And right now, I mean, their intention is to kind of meet up with you, to catch up, see how you are. But their actions are not matching that. So uh, I would be a little bit hesitant at this time myself, my beautiful Pisceans, with the energy. But let's tap into what's going on with them. They've got the child. Now, in the Lenormand deck, the child represents new beginnings. So I'm seeing 1616 16 for you as well right now. 1616, 16, when it comes to twin flame dynamics, it tends to mean that you're entering into a new phase or level of your twin flame connection. So that can indicate that your person may reach out. I definitely see that they're thinking about it and I will pull some cards to see if they're actually going to do it because the cards that they've got as an outcome right now do not reflect that. Uh, it indicates that long term they want commitment or they see themselves bonded to you in a way where they feel in the future they will, um, you know, be married to you or make a commitment or it's almost like they feel that they've promised themselves to you, that they're going to end up with you. However, they need to work on themselves and I feel like they're not able at this moment to offer you the level of intimacy that you truly deserve and desire because I feel like they're still running away from things within themselves. So, um, I mean, the child energy, it's number 13, which is the death card energy, which can indicate that this person is breaking all habits or, uh, you know, basically breaking a cycle of repeat or even, you know, really looking at immature behavior or actions um, and decisions that they made in the past and seeing how they changed this relationship or how it ended the relationship. Uh, I do feel with this card that um, there is an energy here of they were, how can I put that? They were very immature when they first met you, is what I'm being given. And I also feel that they weren't looking for love. And it's not that they were like talking to other people. I feel this person, they were all about their projects or their business or their uh, career ambition. They've got a lot of pinnacles here. Let me just see what's going on there because there's something from childhood regarding this person, but it's not being readily made available. Um, the main energy I'm getting though is that this person, they had like um, an absent parent. Um, and whilst, you know, there's no judgment here and uh, there's no manual of how to do life, this person, I feel like they did have a very strong matriarchal type figure in their life. And um, that person, they love them dearly. But I also feel that this person, they may have witnessed a parent or guardian come and go at periods and it just felt really unstable 
full card. Interesting. Look at that. The full card is a very immature energy. It can indicate, you know, that this person, they were on a new path when they met you and they were focused on those projects. They weren't really looking for any attachments or they weren't looking for love, that's for sure. Uh, it also indicates this person does want a new beginning because this pile is how they feel about you, okay? They see you as someone that um, is a really great person to be with, someone who is very passionate, intense, someone that they could see settling down with. Um, for some of you, I feel like they've even thought about, you know, raising a family with you or having some sort of traditional kind of long-term relationship. But with the full card, it's really telling me that this person, there's something from childhood, uh, something got cut short. Um, how can I put that? Something that was good went bad or something that was good ended really abruptly or someone came in and out. There was a change in the household in some way. The world card, yeah, something came to an end. So as you can see, this is like a beginning and an end. So I don't really know how to tap into this energy. It was like, it was the beginning of the end for this person. So for example, if this person witnessed parents or guardians divorcing um, from a very young age, it signals the beginning of uh, chaos for this person and the end of like innocence or the end of, um, you know, believing in love or believing in long-term relationships or solid foundations. It's like they felt that love was a very precarious environment to find themselves in because that's what they witnessed. Um, I feel also this person may have moved around a lot is what I'm getting, or um, they may have moved with a parent one parent somewhere, uh, or even moved around a lot. They may have even like changed country from time to time. Uh, I'm just picking up briefly on this person being kind of nomadic is what I get. And they almost um, kind of maybe even refer to themselves as a lone wolf or uh, someone who's very solitary. They actually have said this to themselves so many times, they've started to believe it, that uh, they are meant to be alone even though deep down they don't really want to be, okay? Uh, High Priest says the Emperor, okay. So again, we have um, the High Priestess, which is a cautious card. It's also a card of the hidden, okay? Um, someone who presents a mystery. So we also have the Emperor there, which is a masculine type energy or masculine guardian father type figure who perhaps uh, came and went or presented as a bit of a mystery in some way. I feel your person, they became very responsible in the family unit from a very young age. And I feel as they started to get older, that's when they started to let loose and, you know, really have some fun. And I feel they just didn't want to be responsible. And they were in a cycle of, you know, I don't want to say reliving their youth, um, but almost, you know, um, it just feels like this person wasn't ready to have ties or settle down when they first met you. And uh, they recognize there is a psychic bond or some sort of bond between you both. But in order to give themselves over to the twin flame connection, they do have to step up to a level of maturity um, that they were not ready for. I mean, I've just clarified this person's upbringing and it had a major impact on them because they got four major arcana cards, okay? And that's a big deal because I shuffle the deck, you saw me do that, and it's like this person has gone through something that has made them feel very uncertain or hesitant about getting into the um, divine union, shall I say, because it's almost like they believe that once something really important starts in their life, it will inevitably come to an end. So this person, to some degree, and I'm not quite tapping into it fully because this person, you know, um, it all stems from childhood. It just feels like if they get into a relationship, they know it's going to end. So what's the point in investing in it in the first place? They may have witnessed parents or guardians divorcing or separating or some sort of turbulent energy there, and ultimately someone leaves. This person has learnt that love leaves at some point. So it's better that they sort of retain a level of freedom 
Um, and this person, they've thought about, if they haven't got a pet, uh, they've thought about just having a pet. Um, so it just feels like it's them and their trusty companion. And people, generally, in this person's life, they feel can come and go. Don't get me wrong, this person feels like they've got friends. Uh, they feel like they've got connections. But uh, ultimately, I feel this person they were not ready to settle down. I mean, they've got the ring there. So in the future, I definitely see that there is commitment with this person and they're still scared. They're still hesitant. With the nine of swords there, this can indicate this person, you know, has negative self-talk. You know, they have a, a very harsh critic inside themselves. And this comes from the root. This comes from the very beginning with this person. Now, I'm not here to, you know, make anyone feel sorry for anybody or give an excuse for anybody. I'm here to try and understand the energy so I can understand the outcome. Now, this is how they feel about you. We've got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a divinely guided card. It means they see that the universe sent you as a gift. And, you know, they were surprised. I mean, the Six of Pentacles means a surprise from the universe. And as you can see, um, it's almost like they thought they were having, like... I don't feel it was friends with benefits at all. You know, I don't think they were approaching this in that vein either, but I feel like they caught feelings and they didn't expect it, okay? Um, Six of Pentacles is an energy of uh, balance, of harmony, of generosity. They saw that you have a beautiful, generous spirit, soul. Um, I'm being given this energy that you've been so good to them and there's this undercurrent of an energy of they feel like they didn't deserve you, okay? Uh, so I'm getting this full-on energy from your twin where they always feel like they cannot provide or they are not enough or because they've had to be so responsible from a very young age. And I'm being given a song right now as well. So let me just tap into that one moment, please. Made a wrong turn once or twice bad decisions, mistaken, always second guessing, underestimated, look I'm still around. Okay, uh, I was being given snippets of the song. It's not completely flowing through this one. It feels very sporadic what I've been given. Um, it's definitely a very famous song. It's by Pink. It's so famous. Uh, and I think it has even come up in a reading before in the past. Maybe not those exact lyrics. So maybe I'm being given a different part of this song for this particular reading. Um, I think it's called Perfect, but I also think there's an expletive there uh, in the title. And I'm not going to say it, but um, so this person, it's it really ties in with this person's upbringing where they felt like uh, they couldn't please a parent. Um, ooh. I don't really want to get into that. I just got an energy of, um, and I'm going to just briefly mention it just because it came out. Uh, it feels very much like um, the parent or guardian that they lived with always reminded them of the person who walked away. So there was a lot of um, very harsh comments that came out in arguments. Uh, so that's a very difficult dynamic. I'm going to move away from that energy with respect. But this person, they always felt like no matter what they did, it was never good enough. So they always expected to fail or they always expected that everything's just not going to work out the way that they hoped for. So when they came across a really loving, compassionate, kind, um, unconditional love, they didn't trust it because they felt it's going to change or it's going to leave. So uh, it, it feels like almost this person felt it was only a matter of time before you saw that actually they couldn't be what you wanted them to be. Even though you, my beautiful Pisceans, just wanted this person to open their heart and let you in. And I feel like they started to, but they got a little bit scared, okay? Um, now, this is how they're feeling about you, and that song is relevant because it may be something that'll play in the next coming weeks and months. I mean, I don't like it when I'm given such a modern song because it means you can probably hear it anywhere, right? I like the really obscure songs that haven't been heard for eons, and that means it's really precise. But this song, you know, there's 
probably a high potential for you to hear it, but uh, all the same, I would say listen out for it because it may be a sign or a symbol that your person is, um, you know, contemplating reaching out because, I mean, right now they're in the swords energy, which is they're very cerebral. They're really thinking a lot about what they set to lose long term by not overcoming fears. But ultimately, this pile is how they feel about you. And the Six of Pentacles tells me that, you know, they see you as their twin. They may not understand the concept of twin right now, or maybe they're just starting to look into it. But as you can see, both parties, both of you have cards with identical people. Okay, so I feel both of you understand between you both, there is something that draws you both together, and that you are almost like the same person, you may have even joked that nobody has really seen you in the same room together, because you're so alike. But also, there is a lot about you both that is very different. And I feel both of you recognize that you both draw out the best in each other, but also the worst to some degree. And with the Six of Pentacles there, I feel like this person, they want to see you again. They see you as a mirror image of themselves. And they see that you've been divinely guided into their life. And I do see with the Six of Pentacles that they want to, um, you know, reunite Sixes are all about balance, but they're also kind of uh, very nostalgic energy where it's like, um, you know, how can I bring back the good times? How can I, you know, get connected more to the things that I love? So I feel this person, you are refreshing to them. I feel you are, you know what, there's this energy and part of me is like, well, then why don't you just reach out to my beautiful Pisces and tell them that? But what I'm getting here is like, you are so essential to them. You're like water. Okay, I'm being given this energy of you really like completely are a, a breath of fresh air in their life and they need they crave you. But they've also got some level of responsibility on their shoulders. Now, for some of you, beautiful Pisceans, uh, your twin may have already had a high level commitment before they met you and they've got children. So they feel responsible and they need to take their time with that first before they connect to, um, you know, their own needs. That's how this person's looking at it. Uh, not all of you are going to have that experience, but uh, some of you, beautiful Pisceans, your person has children and is nurturing them at this time. But I feel like you already know that those that have that situation. For the rest of you, because I feel the majority energy here is that um, this person with the Queen of Pentacles present in their uh, side of the cards, I feel this person has a matriarchal type figure or a family member, someone they feel responsible for, that they care for. Um, but also I feel a lot of the uh, twin flame energy coming out for your twin is that they're trying to be financially stable. They're trying to multiply their money or they're trying to establish themselves in something and feel secure. They've been working on their plans. They've been true to their projects. Um, I mean, they're presenting as someone who is trustworthy, you know, someone who is nurturing themselves, someone who wants to feel a little bit more stable and grounded, someone who is um, honest, real. You know, it's like, they had to be real with themselves. They had responsibilities, they had things they needed to take care of, and they couldn't take care of their own needs at the time. They wanted to be with you, but I feel like they couldn't. Now, human beings were very complex creatures, okay? Uh, I can only give you from my perspective that I wanted to be with my twin, but my fear actually prevented me from doing that. Every time I wanted to tell my twin that I love them, the words literally got caught in my throat. I couldn't do it. I felt like I was uh, being suffocated. I felt overwhelmed. I started to sweat. I actually was really shy. You know, I was like, why is there like a brick wall in front of me? And I couldn't fathom it. I didn't understand it. And, you know, only when I did the work on myself and I felt, you know, healed in different aspects of my life, could I start to open myself up to another. So um, this person, they have put their own blocks in front of their path, and they feel that those blocks were justified at the time of meeting you. They didn't intend to hurt you. I don't see any malice with this particular twin flame. Um, also, if 
because I'm not seeing that this person has cheated or has anybody else, okay? I mean, for some of you, it could be that they were closing out a relationship with someone else, but there were children involved, so they had to be really cautious and careful about how they ended the relationship, and they didn't really want to enter into anything serious or new afterwards, but the majority energy I've got from this particular twin flame connection that I'm tapping into right now, I feel like they're single, they're focused on their finances, their responsibilities. Uh, I do feel like they are very family-oriented and Ultimately, they do want love. This is, you know, their side on the outcome. So this is flipped. That's what you do in this particular reading. The ring represents, you know, how they see a future with you. They see a commitment. They see that there is a bond there. However, looking at your energy, I feel like, you know, it's such a long process that part of you is like, you can't wait forever. And I feel you're maturing, you know, to the point where you're like, well, I should open myself up to somebody new. So I actually see that because there's so many people here, I feel like there was like a third party influence. And I want people to be aware when I say that it doesn't mean someone cheated or has someone else. Basically, it can be that, um, you know, someone puts their work or their career or their stability above all else, or it can mean someone puts, you know, um, someone's influence above uh, love. So for example, if you know, uh, a parent or guardian turned around and said, oh, you'd be better off, you know, marrying that person, um, you know, rather than um, marrying anybody else, you know, it could be an influence thing. So I, I really want you to be aware that I feel exterior factors really influence this particular connection. And I mean, judging by that song, the lyrics that they just gave me, because um, this has obviously been chosen by my guides to communicate something that your twin feels, uh, they feel like they've made uh, some wrong turns once or twice in their life. And um, I feel like they recognize it was a bad decision. But ultimately, there is a bond between you and this person and they can feel it, they know it. And I feel they don't quite understand it yet. They do have the Two of Swords there, which is a stalemate energy. As you can see, the two birds are nesting on top of the box. So I feel this person, they, it's almost like they have a deep intuitive knowing that you will both be together at some point. Remember, don't wait for your twin. The universe will orchestrate a meeting between you and your person when the moment is right. But that's what this person is thinking right now. And they also see a future with you, but they don't know how they're going to get there. So uh, with that two of swords, this person, they're not making any moves at this time. They've actually, you know, um, felt very uncertain about their life, about the path that they're taking. Uh, I feel like they have taken a time out of this connection in order to think about things, in order to find answers within themselves. And I feel actually they are looking at their fears. Uh, Nine of swords, as you can see, look at all those eyes on their back. So... I feel this person has some level of trust issues or um, they've been such an independent person. They've always felt like it's just easier being alone rather than open themselves up to uh, being in a commitment and then always worrying about the person leaving. So um, I feel whatever it is that this person has experienced because as you can see there, this figure has got like a ring on their finger. So um, it's a wonderful deck, this, the Tower of the Mystical Moments um, by Catrin Well Stein. And it really highlights different aspects of the twin flame and the self. So I do feel there's a level of fear in this person. Um, I feel right now their fears are winning. I have to be honest with you, but their overarching energy is their intention. So I feel like they do want commitment, but they must really do the work before they're capable of offering you a love that you truly deserve and the depth of intimacy that you also deserve in a relationship as well. Um, so we got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a missed opportunity. So I feel they do think about you a lot. Um, with that Four of Cups also, the choices that they made and the path that they're on currently, they feel unfulfilled. And the universe, you know, it's it's the same kind of energy with that Six of Pentacles. It's like the universe is like, I'm presenting your twin flame. I'm presenting you true love. You know, one cup 
is an indication of, you know, unconditional love. I've offered you unconditional love, but you were closed off to it. And I'm talking about your twin. And this is what they're thinking about right now. They fear that they have lost an opportunity with you. I feel that um, they're trying to resolve some things and they regret taking the connection for granted. They do hope that your paths cross again, but I feel what I'm getting is that this person, they can see that they've like lost the chance to be with you, even though, I mean, they're not making any effort. So I want to know why they're so closed off at this time. Why are they so closed off at this time? What's going on there with this person? The moon card, their fears, okay? But also, uh, the moon card is a very important card. Number one, it's a major arcana card, but there's a dog and a wolf in this card, and the dog represents loyalty, settling down, someone who's there all the time to, you know, meet you at home and make you feel like uh, it's you and them against the world. And also, the wolf is that lone wolf independent, free. Um, so I feel right now this person is trying to work out their path. The moon card also indicates this person's working through their fears, you know, dark night of the soul, becoming aware of their shadow self and the lessons that they have had to learn by the choices uh, they have made. And I feel they need to get rid of that level of fear and negativity in order to move forward. Uh, will they be reaching out to my beautiful Pisceans anytime soon? Two of Swords again, Two of Swords, you know, so this is the time out. Um, they're getting in touch with their emotions. They're feeling their way through. Um, I feel like they are moving into uncharted territory, deep feelings. They're allowing themselves to feel and to make choices for themselves. And we've got the King of Swords. So yeah, uh, King of Swords indicates they're thinking about what they need to say to you because they can't just come at you and say, hey, miss you or love you or uh, been thinking about you. I feel like this person wants to get it right. But uh, I feel like they're acutely aware that they feel like you probably won't take them back. Um, at this stage, looking at your energy, you're a little bit unsure as well. And I feel a new connection is coming in if you haven't met someone new already as well there. The King of Swords, very detached. I feel like they're getting their house in order or they're getting their thoughts in order. And I also feel this person is in a period of judgment. They're judging themselves, they're judging their actions, and they need to actually take time out. And I feel like it's not that they're just taking time out from this connection, it's that they're taking time out from like life a little bit in order to really work through the stuff. And when they do that, then they can come towards you. But this reading is good for the next six weeks. So in the next six weeks, I don't actually see like a major conversation coming in. I have to give it to you the way I see it. There's a lot of thought going on. I feel like eventually there will be an invitation to kind of catch up is what I see there. I do feel like there's going to be a conversation about their fears. But I feel, you know, um, it's not going to be any time soon is what I'm feeling. Uh, I will pull some final cards before I leave the reading just to see if I can get a time frame for you. I mean, your final cards are the lily. So, you know, you are an intensely feeling being and you deserve love and passion and all of those things. And this is basically a, a card that indicates wisdom. You've learned a lot. Um, for some of you, there may even be like... Um, an age gap in this connection, but age is but a number. It's not really a factor in this. So breathe. There, there's no reason for there to be any worry about age, uh, but it's just popping up there. So I thought I'd mention it. Uh, the lily indicates that you are uh, someone who is highly magnetic, very attractive. And uh, because it's crossed with the queen and king of wands, this is a partnership. So in the future, there is a high level commitment coming in here for you. It's very passionate, very intense. Um, it's a soulmate, someone who inspires you, someone who is, um, you know, very aligned with who they are and what they want. It's a very physically intense connection as well as magnetic. But is it your twin? I mean, I feel there's a soulmate here. 
available to you at this time or being made available to you at this time, you're actually attracting a lot of attention or you will be uh, attracting a lot of attention. And there's someone who is mature enough to recognize what a gift you are in this position right now. Because, you know, Twin Flames, we meet each other on different parts of our path. And um, it doesn't mean that your twin cannot spiritually evolve and join you on that path. But right now, the twin flame connection I'm picking up on, I feel your person's just not there yet, okay? Uh, let me just clarify this king and queen of wands. I mean, you saw me shuffle the deck. We got the king of wands again. So my guides are like, I said king of wands. I meant king of wands. So um, this person could be Aries, okay? Could also be Leo Sag energy. A uh, very fiery, passionate, intense connection. And again, male or female, not gender specific. Um, can you please tell me about a long-term outcome or a couple of months after uh, this reading, the outcome with the twin flame. Can you please give me a little bit more indication as to how that will evolve? Oops, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a card of self-care. It's a, a card of uh, compassion, emotional security. It's a healer card. So, uh, But there's a lot of people here, so let me just... Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is basically to open up to a new strategy. It's uh, to try and save something, to have patience with something. Okay, the sun. So, yeah, I mean, I feel the next maybe 10 weeks are going to be really critical for your person in terms of a spiritual awakening, an evolutionary state where suddenly they're going to have a major breakthrough in terms of looking at their fears, they're going to be a lot more positive about what they want from their life. But also, as you can see there, I feel like they're going to set themselves free regarding something from their childhood. They may even like seek a counselor or go to some level of counseling, but I feel like they're going to tell you about the progress they have made regarding something from when they were younger, okay? Because that's the thing that's holding this person almost to ransom with their fears. Um, can you and your person come together and heal things? The answer, of course, is yes. But it is going to be a project. It is going to be a long-term one as well. And I feel like looking at your energy, you can't wait anymore. I feel, you know, part of you, it's like you've got so much love to give that you just feel stagnated waiting there when you just want to give it to your twin. Thank you so much. I mean, look at that first card. I fear you will move away from me. So, you know, this person, they've experienced this from a very sort of soul ground level. And, um, you know, when we're children, we're like a sponge. We're observing and um, absorbing everything in our environment. You know, even when adults feel like they're whispering and having an argument underneath their breath, you know, we're all energy. Children feel that. They know it. They're not, you know, silly. They can completely pick up on atmosphere. And, you know, I feel this person has experienced something that has really given them a fearful outlook about marriage and long-term commitment. Okay, I feel like they want those cards. So, we've already mentioned that one. I fear you will move away from me. I wish I had the courage to be honest. Okay, uh, let me just pull a quick card and see honest about what. I feel it's to be honest about how they feel. About loving and losing okay, about loss. This person, it's like they've been taught to be strong, to just get on with things, but that Five of Cups is a card of loss, uh, of regret, of difficulty in opening up, of witnessing, um, you know, something not working out and sort of like being in mourning for something. Um, I mean, they may have been in a high-level commitment before they met you where they were brokenhearted, but I feel this is from the very beginning. 
it's almost like they turn their back on love. Like the two cups there, two of cups represents love, commitment, and understanding. But this figure is literally turning their back on it because every time they've entered into a loving situation or uh, every time uh, they think back to childhood, they see how it is set to all go wrong. Everything is just smashed to pieces and it doesn't work out. So this is what this person wants to tell you, what they want to be honest about. I can feel our connection getting stronger. Interesting. That's because you're withdrawing. Remember the magnets. As soon as you step back, this person will come forward. They feel the pull. There is a push and pull with the twin flame connection. And I'm pretending that everything is okay when really it is not. And again, I'm not here to give anyone an excuse or a way out. I'm here to try and understand the energy. But this person, they need to change their bad habits or they're trying to. And they're trying to sort through this stuff. Eventually they'll get there. But will you be there? Um, I feel... At this stage, you're not going to be there, okay? I feel like you're moving on or um, you're thinking about exploring a new relationship. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we have the... Okay, we have... Okay, so we have um, the angel ball there. Um, and this represents protection and redirection. It indicates that it's a divine union, that you are meant to meet this person because it was to change you to move to a higher vibration, but also spin you off to your true life's mission and calling. I also feel like your guides are protecting you and separating you at this time to focus on your divine path before you come together, potentially, unless you want to uh, be with a soulmate that's coming in. And we also have the word yes. Okay, the word yes. So if you had a question about your person, the answer is yes. So whatever that is for you. I mean, yes is a very positive kind of um, affirmational word. Uh, I'm being given um, something in the water. I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. Let me just tap in there. Um, Oh, it's, um, so it looks like some sort of poster or, um, I mean, it doesn't have a frame, but it looks like it's something that's been printed or would be printed. Uh, it actually says something, flowers bloom even on grass that has been trampled on. And there's also lots of, um, it's written in different languages. So either you are learning different languages or you're bilingual or maybe your person is um they just show me loads of different languages like so many um underneath so it, it can indicate that obviously this relationship there's still the potential for it to grow again even though it feels like it's been trampled on um that both you and this person, you can recover this relationship. However, it's going to be a super long process, okay? So uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate with everyone. I totally understand that, but I have to give you what has come out in the cards as I shuffled. You know, I can't make the cards that I want to come out. Uh, you know, we just gotta shuffle it and see how it goes and see what energy comes up there. But if it resonates, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisceans, and love and light.